tonight in our studio with that story. Brandon? Well, Liz, this has been a controversial topic since it was first announced on Sunday. Many lawmakers say the money should be spent elsewhere. Others say this is a program that will save taxpayers money in the long run. Tonight, we'll introduce you to a man who says without his college degree earned in prison, he'd probably be headed right back in. Driving the streets of the Hudson Valley, Donald Felix owns his own limo company, started less than a year ago. But what you got? What you got, Mjorn? I'm up now. I'm already in the car. I'm getting ready to go to the car wash. Got you on at 2.30 in Austin. How you doing? But before the Cadillacs and nice suit, Felix wore a prison jumpsuit. Got caught up, you know, making the wrong decisions as a kid. Um, robbery case and assault case, two separate cases. I wound up in prison um, doing 15 to 18 years. He was sentenced in 2002 and sent away from the streets of Brooklyn to an upstate correctional facility. After years of menial tasks, the privately funded Bard Prison Initiative came in with the goal of helping prisoners get college educations. So I was a little intimidated at first, you know, and then I made my way, went to the competition, and I won out of, I think it was maybe 120 people, won my way in, it was only 10 taken. Taking five to six classes a semester, Felix graduated with an associate's degree. This is like hard sweat, blood and tears. And credits it with truly turning his life around. School is not a big thing in the, in the, in the ghettos. You know, it's not a badge of honor to say, yeah, I graduated, I got this. No, they'll fastly praise you for going to prison and coming home. Instead of returning to the city, he moved with his wife to Beacon and used his education to start the company driving around executives from GE, Domino Sugar, and other major corporations. Without a broad college education, I wouldn't be able to conversate with these people. A kid from Brooklyn just that knows about Jay-Z and uh, Biggie Smalls, I wouldn't be able to talk, you know, with these people on a daily day basis. Felix is just one of more than 250 alumni from the Bard Prison Initiative. Fewer than 4% have returned to the life of crime compared to an estimated 40% of traditional inmates. Governor Cuomo wants to expand the program with taxpayer money, but with members of his own party against it, he could face an uphill battle. Felix says he hopes opponents will see his story and think again. What was something you would tell those people who are strongly against this? I would have probably came home with no clue. My mind would have been off, and that means going back to Brooklyn, robbing, stealing, hanging out, smoking weed, trying to duck parole and all of the shenanigans. But no, I, it, it changes you. It changes your thinking. It upgrades you. And Felix is now working on hiring his first driver to keep the limo running 24 hours a day. He's also talking with Bard about continuing his education in the future toward a law degree. Live in the studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.